Good afternoon and welcome back to my channel. I'm Debbie from Debbie's World and it's time for another recipe. Now you might notice that you are at a slightly different angle. We are on the new camera with the microphone attached. Unfortunately, we don't yet have a wide angle camera lens which is on its way, but we're just gonna have an experiment and see how it works. Um, and you'll have to let me know if the quality is any better on this camera and whether it's worth um, the slight disability of not being able to see the whole of what I'm doing. Um, so what I'm making today, I'm doing a recipe, is from the Slimming World Take 5 book and it is the Cheese Chicken Risotto. So it says, generous chunk of chicken and perfectly cooked rice make this easy risotto so comforting and the sprinkling of parmesan is a real treat. So it says it serves four, it's one sin per serving and ready in 35 minutes. So what you need is four large skinless and boneless chicken breasts. I've actually got chicken thighs here, but they're really nice and I've removed all the visible fat. 350 grams of dried risotto rice. I've actually got about 260 grams here, but I'm going to um, make up for that by using less stock. And it says 1.2 litres of boiling chicken stock, so I'll use slightly less stock. Two leeks thinly sliced oh, so th this is what I've got for my chicken stock which is the uh, no chicken stock pots and then it says four level tablespoons of freshly grated parmesan cheese now I'm not going to use parmesan cheese I'm going to use for each serving 20 grams of light um, cheese just normal cheddar because I don't like parmesan and that will be half a healthy extra A choice. So that will make my dish free because the only sins in this recipe are for the parmesan but that's entirely up to you. So the first thing you would need to do is chop up your leeks which I've already done and chop up your chicken and we need to get a large frying pan ready with fry light or um, low calorie cooking spray and place over a high heat so we'll do that now. So here's my large frying pan and my chicken thighs or chicken breast. I've used fry light in my pan and heated it up. And then I'm going to turn it down to a medium heat and fry my chicken off for about five minutes or until browned. So now my, my chicken is browned off a little, it's been frying for about 5 minutes. I'm going to add my rice, now don't forget I have a little bit less rice, I have 250-260 grams of risotto rice. So the recommended amount of chicken stock is 1.2 litres. So here I have half a litre and I'll add probably another half a litre as we go along. So we need to simmer that for about 10 minutes, stirring frequently to get the creamy texture. So I've got my hob on about number six and I'll, once that absorbs that stock, I'll add a little more and keep stirring it and keep my fingers crossed because I've never made it like this before. I've always made the baked risotto. But yeah, I'll put my timer on and come back to you in 10 minutes or so. So that's almost 10 minutes that that's been simmering for. That is still um, only half a pint of water. So I'm gonna add another quarter pint of water and hope that it absorbs it. Then I'm going to add salt. I believe that Slimming World recipes need plenty of seasoning. Black pepper, a bit more salt because it's nearly empty, that one. 
And I'm going to add some of these Italian herbs. You might also want to add some chili flakes, I'll decide later. Or you can sprinkle some over afterwards. And then I'm going to add in my sliced leeks. I can smell that pepper and then you want to simmer that for a further 10 to 15 minutes or until the rice is just cooked and most of the stock has been absorbed stirring frequently so I'll come back in about 10 minutes and show you what it looks like again this is from the Slimming World Take five book, there you go, can you see it there? And that is <clears throat> page 56 of the Take Five book. So I'll come back in about 10 minutes. So this has been cooking the risotto with the leeks for about 10 minutes and I've just given it a taste and the rice is still not quite soft. So I'm gonna give it another five minutes, keeping my fingers crossed that the rice will soften. It's absorbed all the water. And yeah, I think it needs another five minutes or so for the rice. So here we go. That's another five minutes and the rice has softened a bit more. It's still a little bit al dente, but it's okay. It's edible and it tastes really creamy, even without adding any quark or anything. So I'm going to serve this up and show you what it looks like and what, what I'm going to serve it with. And there we go. Here is my cheesy chicken risotto we've got the chicken thighs and leeks in there with the risotto and on the side i've got some green leaves and tomatoes and then i'm going to add a splash more black pepper ground black pepper and i'm going to add 20 grams of cheddar light cheddar for a healthy extra a from the Slimming World Take 5 book, Cheese A Chicken Risotto, free on the plan, served with speedy salad and half a health extra A of light cheese. Yum yum. Right, good evening. I have just eaten my risotto and it was really, really nice. Really, really creamy. Still a few little hard grains of rice, but most of them were cooked through. So probably what I might do next time is add a little bit more water. I added a pint and a quarter um, to 250 grams of risotto rice. So it could have probably taken another quarter of a pint. <clears throat> I do prefer the baked variety of risotto, but that is definitely the answer in a quick, if you need a quick fix. It's a really good one for if you're just coming home from work, if you're running around after the kids, you just quickly chop up some chicken and some veg, throw it all in the pan, and as long as you're stirring it every couple of minutes, you can leave it to simmer away, and it's a really dead quick recipe. So I recommend that one. It will take any herbs and spices that you want to throw at it, um, but on its own, it's really tasty. I did use um, two no chicken stock pots, so mine was really tasty that way. But if you like a bit of heat, you might want to add chilli flakes. Or if you like the Italian flavours, you might want to add the Italian herbs. It would definitely take it, but all, as well on its own, it's really, really nice and creamy. So I enjoyed that one. Let me know if you make it. Let me know your thoughts on the new camera. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time.